What's going on guys, big welcome to you all to our channel, we are Team Crushing the Meta and today we are back with another video to talk about the card restriction list from 2020 that will be taking effect in the English and the Japanese formats. So the thing about this list is that it is kind of crazy, it does take some cards out of some decks or clans that should not have been taken out and the more I look at the list, the le the more I think that Bushrod are a little bit lazy to really trying to understand how the format works. And yeah, just let's just go through the list and after that I will tell you my thoughts about it. And then after that I will show you the whole list so with all the cards on it, like the cards that are restricted. And then at the end of the video I will show you the list that Bushrod should have done. And that's in my or our opinion as Team Crushing the Meta. So first of all, the cards that we showed already did hit. So these cards or this list is gonna take effect from uh, March 2020. From again English and Japanese format. So we have three cards from uh, Pill Moon, Murukumu, Tochikazi that are limited to one, which are the Grey Three from um, Pill Moon, the Silver Tone one, which draws you cards. Now you could only play one of her in your deck, which is uh, Doreen. And then we have Shiryuki, put back, put to one. Then we have Anger Blader, put to one. Uh, this Anger Blader makes me angry. <laughs> but uh, limited to two, we have Chuo, an understandable choice. The grade two from uh, Narukami, of course, that could restand whatever. Uh, your finger attack and your opponent does not have anything in the front row. Of course, it also has the other ability that when it's placed, counter plus one and retire something from your opponent's front row in the same column, then move a rear guard from the back row to the front. But um, yeah, it's understandable that that's on two. And then we have, of course, Lizalot and Sonata. Now you could play them again in the same deck. Again, understandable. Then we have Revere. Once per turn, her ability is now uh, Irata, so you cannot keep rewriting from the grade 3 to a grade 2 to a grade 3 and keep on going like that because again the, it, it just gets it irata so um, you could only ride once the same as the Minish Police this will not hurt the deck too much but it does make it a little bit less good and it also makes it more fair for the other clans to play against for premium they finally banned Wonder Ezel understandable and then uh, we have again the grade 3 from uh, Pale Moon, which is put to 1. Okay, what do we think about this? First of all, this grade 3 should not have been on the premium list. There is really no stupid reason to have that. Yes, that could still draw a lot, but in premium you do have a lot of different um, ways to do that. I mean, you could do that with a starter, or you could do that with different cards. So there is no reason, in my opinion, to... Um, put this card to 1 in premium. Also, I don't think that this will hit Pill Moon that hard because I think the Pill Moon players have different ways to build their deck and this will not destroy them in premium as much that it will hurt them in standard. On the standard list, I think this card should have been restricted to 2. There is no reason to put it to 1 because you're killing the deck. The deck will still be effective, the deck will still be played, but the deck will draw way less and with that the deck will not have enough defense to try and still be able to kill the opponent or defend the attacks from the opponent. Next card we have on the list is Shiryuki. I have a mixed feeling about this. I think that it's smart to put it at this because there are different approaches you could do with Shiryuki. Um, Murkumo players would not be happy with this, but they would, could say that the card could not be played with Yuga, like a choice restriction, but again, in the future there will be more support and that will, the card will be effective again. I think Shiryuki is an unfair card, especially because you could use her skill um, offensively and defensively, and that's what also makes her uh, a little bit unfair. So yes, I think Shiryuki at 1 is understandable, that would mean that the whole Yuga deck will look a little bit different now because the great ones and the great twos that searches the Shiryuki will get out and they are I think rares and common so it doesn't really matter. So Shiryuki to one is a very good choice in my opinion from Bush Road. Then the next card is Anger Blader. There is no freaking reason this card is on the list. 
there are a lot of different approaches we should or should have done which i will show you later in the last set or the the list that we made that we think that we should, or should have done that uh Tujikazi is a clan that gets support like once a year or like the same as spike we have to wait sometimes a year and a half for our support and taking one of their best vrs just like that because they topped or won one huge tournament or two doesn't really make any sense because it's not like Tachikazi is winning every tournament it's not like Tachikazi is being in every top eight two or three decks it's not you cannot take their boss monster just like that when you look at the other restrictions with uh pill moon and with Morokumo, then you see that they are taking the support grade twos and with Tachikazi, you're taking their main grade three and that's very stupid very 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 stupid sorry that i'm saying this if everybody from bushra is or anybody from bushra is watching this but this is a restriction that shows that you are lazy to try to understand the format and you can see me as a player who doesn't play touch guys getting angry about this because i think it's unfair to try and or to take them out they're not trying they're taking them out like you can play only one copy of it in your deck yes whoopie do play the only svr you have but uh, and then we have the uh, limited to two. So we have this guy from um, Arakami being to two. Understandable. I think the card is really really good. And putting that kind of small restriction on Arakami will not hurt them too much, but it will put the deck a little bit, uh, cut it a little bit down to size, which is good. Then we have the Irata on Riviera. I think that this is the best thing that they should or could have done. So I think that this is a very smart choice from Bushiroad and um, it's really good because we have thought about different ways like with Caro not being played with uh, with Riviera and then we thought, well, she's not really needed. Then you riding into grade 3, then again to grade 3, then back to grade 2 is kind of stupid because uh, you could keep that keep doing that multiple times a turn and now you could do it only once a turn so i think that's very really good and very smart choice to do then we have the um ban for wonder as well um this is also the best thing that they sh could have done for gold paladins in my opinion gold paladins if you're a gold paladin player of course you will not be happy with this but gold paladins to be fair we're two years in a row now are doing so good because of the stupid superior ride and now they also have XL2. XL2 plus Wonder Ezel is bullshit. Why? Because you're putting Wonder Ezel on the board. You're getting extra circle because of the superior ride and you're getting to draw. And with that you're keeping hand, rushing your opponent and creating more circles. And that's kind of stupid. It's way too stupid for me. So yes, the card should have been taken out a long time ago, actually from the last uh, uh, restriction list, and now it's on the list, which again, very understandable. <coughs> so how does the standard lists look like right now? We have these three cards that are limited. We have the grade two, we just put to two from uh, the Arakami, and then we have, of course, the unrestriction for Sonata and these laws and the Irata from Eureka. So we don't have any other cards that are on the list, only this. This is the standard list. And we'll show you later what we think that the list should have been looking like. For Premium, we still have Wonder Ezel, or we now have Wonder Ezel spans. We have Eli at 1 and we have Ichikishima, oh, I mean Eli and Ichi Ichikishima also banned. So these are the cards that are banned. Limited to 1 we have a lot of cards like now, we have the Silver Thorn one, we have the 27C cards, we have the 3 stand triggers, we have the Commander Lore from DP, we have Anj, and we have Assassin. And then we have the cards that you cannot play as a starting Vanguard, we have the Cat from Oracle Tank Tank, and of course for Gold Paladin, understandable. Jumping Jill and Purple Trapezes cannot be played in the same deck as Choice Restriction, and Rena and Jamie Congo again very 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 understandable how do we think the list should have looked like so this is what we think that's why it said there what we think um shiryuki to one yes definitely shiryuki is a card that is unfair and mura is good without shiryuki and shiryuki 
being able to activate her ability on rare guard, fang guard, and guardian circle makes her crazy insanely good and putting her to one meaning she will be just tagged as an extra card but you cannot rely on her on searching for her or getting her to your hand or being your main defense or your main offense that does not work anymore next we have limited to two we have sweeper that we add to the list we think the problem with Tachikazi is two things sweeper having multiple sweepers on the field is something that you cannot get rid of and the grade three having to get an errata being it could only work when your opponent is also on grade three the same as in modric the same as in different other grade threes so we think that's the problem and not anger blader by himself so anger blader will only activate at least the restand ability if your opponent is chilling on grade three Revere wants a turn, yes, very good. And then we have the Chuo and then the Grade 2 Fawn Pale Moon, which also give you an unfair advantage on drawing cards to 2. So this is the list that we think um, we should have, should have done. Like Lizalot and Sonata unbanned, I'm agreeing with this 100%. Why? Because now they have more different, better Grade 2s to add to the deck. They have Melody Grade 2s that could do way more and also share the melody ability so this lot is not really needed uh, although they could tag her in there that would not make a big difference in my opinion um, prove me wrong <laughs> or you don't really have to agree with me but looking at this list um the anger blader is being erratic is perfect you're not taking him out sweeper put back to two meaning that you cannot really abuse him too much and you cannot go first go anger blader boom destroy your opponent you cannot do that anymore so now you have to go to gigarex or go to something different the same as shadow pod and the same as in modric with their blaster darks it's understandable that anger blader skill should have been uh, used when your opponent's on grade three that that's an errata that Bushra should have done way easily and this is something that was explained to me by Tim from our team, Crushing the Meta, and I agree with him 100%. Angerblader is not a bad design card, Sweeper is a bad design card, as I like to call him the monster. He is the monster in Tachikazi, and the thing is you cannot get rid of him. You could get rid of the promo grade 1, you could get rid of anything that has more than 3 mark uh, uh, equip pages beneath it, but you cannot get rid of the Sweeper and being able to have that power in your and your opponent's turn not being able to get targeted or retired is still stupid and that's why sweeper should have been on the list and not anger blader it's understandable to give an anger blader Mirata. Uh, for premium we have first in Irata. so again for premium this is how the deck should have looked like in Irata for the cat from orca think tank and the cat should have said you should choose four different cards cards with different or units with different card names from your deck and get your opponent to choose one not just take four cards from your deck show them to your opponent your opponent choose one yes of course i choose four bobos now you have to choose which bobo i get to my hand i choose four silent tomes you get to choose which silent tome i get to my hand that's the stupid thing about the starter in my opinion it's just like it should have never been for the same card names it should have always been four cards with four different freaking names and that's the problem with the card it's just again a bad design card that should have had that just that wording different in it and then it works perfectly uh cards that are banned or should have been banned or should keep in banned uh, ellie I'm sorry, uh, Bermuda players, but again, Ellie is just an unfair G guard and it's understandable to be banned. Some people say, yeah, put her back to one or Irata her or do this or do that. If you do put her back to one, she still works perfectly. If you kind of try to Irata her to what? To not being flipped back? Okay, then they still play three or four. <laughs> Uh, put her to one and then you can't flip her back. Right, you're asking way too much from Bushi. So yes, I think that Bushi will not Do too much. They just banned her bad design card Just used too much. I wonder as on the list. Of course, you can see Chikishima is no more on the list I will explain later why Limited to one 
and limited to two. We have the stain triggers as in Refros, uh, Elizabeth, Crook, all of them with Enigma and Assassin will stay at one in our opinion because all of them give an unfair advantage to their clans and that's why they are at one. Then we have Katrina and Morfessa. Katrina and Morfessa should have been hit because golds also have been hit and also you will see that Dark Regular should also have been hit. Why is Katrina and Mufasa on the list and why you could only play one copy of them in the deck? The problem with Katrina and Mufasa is they are better than every other scribe in their clan. And when you say you could only play one Katrina and you could only play one Mufasa, that would mean the Neon Rector player and the Shadow Paladin player would now have to think about other strides. They would have to think about when to use the Mofessa and when to use the Katrina. And that's way better because now the wannabe Neon Actor players will not play the clan anymore. And the real diehard Neon Actor players will come up with different ideas and will have the right timing to use the Katrina. So, in my opinion, that would make the deck less brain dead and that would mean that you have to think about your plays, think about when to use your Katrina. For Mufasa, the same thing. That would mean Mufasa will not be the first stride. Or the Luard player is so, like, say, comfortable they could finish their opponent off, they go to Mufasa. Or they go to Mufasa, then they go to other stride. But they can only use one Mufasa and one Katrina. I think that these two should have been on the list anyway. And maybe in the future, or somebody, please send this list to Bush Road for them to understand that maybe I will send it myself in an email and then limited to two I think Anj, Anj should have never been to one it's kind of stupid to kill Anj like that put her to two people still try to make a deck out of her but now she will not be tagged in decks she will not be played anymore people pay too much for those SPs let them use them at least two of them um, and then of course the uh, gold paladin starter still not being played as starter that's understandable so i think that the list should have been looking a little bit like this uh, and not the way it looks like right now definitely not and uh, the choice restrictions for the list we add two more uh, first we have the jumping jill and purple trapezes perfect sherry um, rena and jamie perfect then we add in Death Anchor and Gastille. I think that an okay and Gastille should have not be played in the same deck. And the reason for that is the crazy combo that you could do. So it's the same as Katrina and same as Morfessa. Those two should have never been played on the same deck. Um, and we come to the last but not least, Ichikishima could not be played with a grade 3 in a deck who has a marker. So if you want to play Ichikishima, the new one from our premium collection, then you have to play no grade three with a marker. So you have to fall back to grade threes from the old deck, from grade threes with no markers. And I think that would mean that the diehard Rocco Tank Tank players will make two decks, the same as Rena. They will make a deck that uses Ichikishima and they will make a deck that uses Grade threes with markers. And that's fun. That's way more fun than saying you cannot play the card anymore. Because yes, Ichikishima is a stupid bad design card, but still, it is okay to play it. I mean, yes, playing it with... Uh, if you say you cannot play it with grade threes with markers, that would mean that your opponent would have to give up all the new grade threes. They would have to give up Deer, they would have to give up Imperial Daughter, they would have to give up uh, Tsukiyomi, they would have to give up all those grade threes to have to play that Ichikishima, which they won't do. They, they will not play Ichikishima, the same as Renner. They will play Jamie Congo in the most decks and they will not play Renner. You are maybe. 20% or 25% or maybe 30% at max of the Nuba players who would love to play Rene and not play Jamie Congo in their deck. And yes, you could do that as well. So 
I think that Ichikijima not being played with gray threes with markers is very smart to do because you do not want to ban too many cards. Banning a card in Card Fight Vanguard is just nothing that we are used to, and that's why we from Crushing the Meta are trying to create ways that the cards should have put back in. But Wonder Ezel, you could do the same treatment to him, like you cannot play him with Great Threes with markers, the same as Ichikishima. Uh, when you look at Ellie, no, well, you have to Urata Ellie and put her at one to be able to take her out of the ban. But I think Ellie being banned is okay. But Wonder Ezel, same thing. Put Wonder Ezel in a deck with no Ezel with a marker and nobody would play him. So yes try to do more choice restrictions and less bans bushy and i hope that this would work for them maybe i'll try to email them maybe they listen <laughs> okay so that's it about this video i would like to know what you guys would think about the list that we made what do you think about the list that bushy already made and um yeah see you again in another video till next